Hello, everybody. It's I, the Luigi Big Mac. Welcome back to Portal 2. Last time we, uh... All science spheres are made of asbestos, by the way. Keeps out the rats. Let us know if you feel a shortness of breath, a persistent dry cough, or your heart stopping. Because that's not part of the test. That's asbestos. Good news is the lab boys say the symptoms of asbestos poisoning show a median latency of 44.6 years. So if you're 30 or older, you're laughing. Worst case scenario, you miss out on a few rounds of canasta. Plus, you forwarded the cause of science by three centuries. I punch those numbers into my calculator, it makes a happy face. Anyway, uh, before Cape Johnson interrupted me, uh, last time, a, bu a, bit, a bunch happened. Uh, Wheatley, we gave Wheatley control of the facility at the cost of him sending us down here and turning GLaDOS into a potato. Let's see. Ah, I see where I see where I have to get to. Or at least I think that's where, where I'm supposed to go. Ah, uh, what? Uh, okay, there we go. I like your style. You make up your own rules, just like me. Bean counter said I couldn't fire a man just for being in a wheelchair. Did it anyway. Rats are expensive. Actually, what happens if we... We're blue now. That's his attack, apparently. Might as well cover this whole area up. And just like that. Okay, that. That leads to death. Good to know. Good to know. We're gonna have to figure this out. leads there there we go just a heads up that coffee we gave you earlier had fluorescent calcium in it so we can track the neuronal activity in your brain there's a lovely chance the calcium could harden and vitrify your frontal lobe anyway don't stress yourself thinking about it I'm serious Visualizing the scenario while under stress actually triggers the reaction. Oh, thank you. Luckily for me, I don't drink coffee. In fact, so here's the thing with caffeine uh, with me. I'm not sure if I mentioned this before, but uh, I have I was diagnosed with ADHD at like a very young age, so I pretty much had it for most of my life. Uh, one, so caffeine kind of does 
Like, it, it's weird. Like, caffeine does give you, like, a small boost to keep me awake. Now, but then, after a while, it, I will seven, just eventually crash. A tiny microchip about the size of a postcard into your skull. Most likely you've forgotten it's even there. But if it starts vibrating and beeping during this next test, let us know. Because that means it's about to hit 500 degrees, so we're going to need to go ahead and get that out of you pretty fast. Oh. Oh, shit. Interesting. Hmm. So we somehow get have to get up there. Oh, I know. There we go. There we go. Not too hard. I'm telling them, keep your pants on. All right, this next test may involve trace amounts of time travel. So, word of advice, if you meet yourself on the testing track, don't make eye contact. Lab boys tell me that'll wipe out time. Entirely. Forward and backward. So, do both of yourselves a favor and just let that handsome devil go about his business. On. All right, this next test may involve trace amounts of time travel. So, word of advice, if you meet yourself on the testing track, don't make eye contact. Lab boys tell me that'll wipe out time. Entirely. Forward and backward. So, do both of yourselves a favor and just let that handsome devil go about his business. Damn. So we're gonna have to figure out a way to get up there. Obviously we got Had to figure it out somehow. All right, I think I think we're supposed to drop down here. That makes the most sense to me. We can also very easily get back up here, if need be, but... I guess you can also place stuff up there, but I'm not seeing anything. Very tricky stuff here, folks. Very tricky. Because I'm not. Guess let's see. Because we have to get up there. There has to be something I'm missing. Wait. A, wait a minute. Aha.
And we just fall down here. Don't send us there. Bingo! Alright, there we go. Now here's the tricky part. I'm trying to figure out how to get up, up further. Oh. Duh. Just like that. What the? Oh, there's the box. I wonder who Gabe Johnson was firing. Congratulations. The simple fact that you're standing here listening to me means you've made a glorious contribution to science. Did I really? As CEO of Aperture Science, I thank you for your participation and hope we can count on you for another round of tests. We're not going to release this stuff into the wild until it's good and damn ready, so as long as you keep yourself in top physical form, there will always be a limo waiting for you. Say goodbye, Carolyn. Goodbye, Carolyn. She is a gem. <laughs> Alright, we just have to... So obviously that's a dead end. That door is obviously not a door. So, better question is... Where do we go from here? Well, for starters, we should probably look outside. See if there's anything we're missing. That looks like something... Uh, we can feasibly get to. Sure enough. We find ourselves a door. Joe. Uh, more Joe. Uh, I haven't really seen anything too important in here. Oh, I see now. Ugh. That could have ended badly. There we go. We, we, we might we might as well turn those on. And then let's just go through here. 
push this door open and ah uh, geez we're back up. wait a minute Hmm. Greetings, friend. I'm Cave Johnson, CEO of Aperture Science. You might know us as a vital participant in the 1968 Senate hearings on missing astronauts. And you most likely used one of the many products we invented, but that other people have somehow managed to steal from us. Black Mesa can eat my bankrupt... Sir, the test day? Right. Now you might be asking yourself, Cave, just how difficult are these tests? What was in that phone book of a contract I signed? Am I in danger? Let me answer those questions with a question. Who wants to make $60? Cash. You can also feel free to relax for up to 20 minutes in the waiting room, which is a damn sight more comfortable than the park benches most of you were sleeping on when we found you. So, welcome to Aperture. You're here because we want the best, and you're it. Nope. Couldn't keep a straight face. Anyway, don't smudge up the glass down there. In fact, why don't you just go ahead and not touch anything unless it's test-related. Everybody then. Well, we have this building here called Control Room. Uh, do doesn't really seem to be anything we can do in here. There is a second compartment to it. We just have to figure out how to get up there. <laughs> oh no. Great, we're going to have to hear Cave Johnson's whole spiel again. Well then. Greetings, friend. I'm Cave Johnson, CEO of Amateur Science. There we go. You might know us as a vital participant in the 1968 Senate hearings on missing astronauts. And you've most likely used one of the many products we invented, but that other people have somehow managed to steal from us. Black Mesa can eat my bankrupt... Sir. Right. Now you might be asking yourself, Cave, hey, just how difficult are these tests? What was in that phone book of a contract I signed? Am I in danger? Let me answer those questions. All right. I see what I need to do. I just have to find the correct method of doing it. Because I have to get up there. Greetings, friend. I'm Cave Johnson, CEO of Aperture Science. You might know us as a vital participant in the 1968 Senate hearings on missing astronauts. All right, let's try this. Use one of the many products we invented, but that other people have somehow managed to steal from us. Black Mesa can eat my bankrupt. Sir, the test day. Right. Now you might be asking yourself, Cave, just how difficult are these tests? What was in that phone book of a contract I signed? Am I in danger? Let me answer those questions with a question. Who wants to make $60? Cash. You can also feel free to relax for up to 20 minutes in the waiting room, which is a damn sight more comfortable than the park benches most of you were sleeping on when we found you. So, welcome to Aperture. You're here because we want the best, and you're it. Nope. Couldn't keep a straight face. Anyway, don't smudge up the glass down there. In fact, why don't you just go ahead and not touch anything unless it's test-related. Yeah, so we have to get over there. The doors are closed. So we have to figure out a way to open them up. Oh. Well, we're supposed to get in there first. So let's see. I'm not seeing anything any way we can get in there. Cause I, I can cause I only went as high as I could. There's no way to get up higher. I can't really do anything down there. Well, folks, I'm kind of at a loss right now. Ah! What? Because <sighs> there isn't really a whole much, whole lot. I think I, I think I could do right now. 
That door's closed. We have to I have to figure out how to open said doors. My you know this doesn't work any wonders. Unless there's something I'm missing in here. Like I could just spam me on any on everything. But I highly doubt there's anything I can do really. Yeah, yeah, like I'm spamming E. Nothing's happening. Well, that blows. And there's nothing here I can really utilize. No buttons, no nothing. Hmm. Wait a minute. Okay, I figured it out. Almost figured it out. That's the one I need to go to, regardless. Uh, bup, bup. Well then. Ah, jeez. I think I think Gladys is dead. We're we're doomed. All right then. But hey, at least we finally figured it out. Ugh. Like I said in earlier episodes, this game is a thinking game. You, you kind of have to look around your surroundings and figure it out. Ah, oh, yes, the reunion. The testing area is just up ahead. The quicker you get through, the quicker you'll get your sixty bucks. Carolyn, are the compensation vouchers ready? Yes, yes sir, Mr. Johnson. Wait a minute. So, in case you guys don't know the lore, Caroline, as you've been hearing in uh, Johnson's dialogue, and GLaDOS are the same person. It's just that uh, because, well, Caroline got turned into a robot, she no longer, she's no longer human. Because she's no longer human, well, but because she's, because she's, uh, because she's no longer human, uh, she kind of does not have like. She basically went as soon as, as soon as they con connected her, uh, she started uh, going nuts. Oh, 
anyway, the orange gel. So the whole, so the whole gimmick with the orange gel is that you can uh, uh, when you're on it, your momentum goes a bit uh, fast. All right, that should that should be enough. And then, just like that, we made it here. Actually, hold on. It'll probably be better if I just do... Yeah, there's a way I can get back over there already then. Oh yeah, we definitely have a way back. And just like that. We just now have to find a way up, up there. Look, I think I have a solution. There we go. Okay, I guess emotional outbursts require more than 1.6 volts. Now we know that. We just need to relax. We're still going to find out what the hell's going on here. But calmly. Alrighty then. Luckily we can place that there. Um... What am I going to need first? Well, first, it probably, it probably helps if I can... Okay. We do that. And then we do that. All right, that looks that looks good so far. Then we Alrighty then. Let's see if that worked. Oh! Alright. Let's try that again. Nope. Oh, I see now. Get up here. Uh, we send that over. We put that there. Great job, astronaut, war hero, and or Olympian. With your help, we're gonna. Hey, come on. This on? Hey, listen up down there. That thing's called an elevator, not a bathroom. I swear I know him. Yeah, well, I know. But do you know? I hope you know I'm pointing at pointing at my uh, at OBS right now. If you're interested in an additional sixty dollars, flag down a test associate and let him know. 
You could walk out of here with 120 weighing down your bindle if you let us take you apart, put some science stuff hmm. in you, and then put you back together. Good as new. Well, this, well, this is interesting. Okay, well, that looks like a straightaway, so we're going to have to send or the orange gel there. Gonna go over there real quick to see what's up. I see now. Hmm. I see now. Okay, so now that I made it over the he over here, ah, I see something. Okay, I think I, I think I, I think I see something that needs to be done here. All right, I think now, I think now we figured it out. Oh, hold on, that that was a, that was not lined up, and those. Okay, now. There we go. Alrighty then. We can uh, bring this down here. Uh, boop, boop. And then just go back over here. And then if I was to look over there. Actually, hold on a minute. I think I have to take... Put the blue portal right there. I think, because I think I have to cover that. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, ow. Yeah. Yep, that's exactly what I have to do there. Then, uh, kind of get myself right there. Then... Excellent. In case you're interested, there's still some positions available for that bonus opportunity I mentioned earlier. Again, all you gotta do is let us disassemble you. We're not banging rocks together here. We know Woo! how to put a man back together. Not so too shabby. Complete reassembly. New vitals, spit 
shine on the old ones. Plus, we're scooping out tumors. Frankly, you ought to be paying us. Thank you. I can't believe I'm thanking these people. For staggering your way through Aperture Science's propulsion gel testing, you've made some real contributions to society for a change, and for that, humanity is grateful. If you had any belongings, please pick them up now. We don't want old newspapers and sticks cluttering up the building. For many of you, I realize $60 is an unprecedented windfall, so don't go spending it all on, I don't know, Carolyn, what do these people buy? Tattered hats, beard dirt. Hmm, now we have to find a way out of here. Oh. Well, I certainly see a way out. I just have to find a spot to put the uh, the orange portal at. Like, like uh, right here, for instance. Pump station gamma. That's where we came in from. Can't go back there. Uh... There we go. We're definitely getting somewhere. Carolyn, 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 why do I know this woman? Did I kill her? Or. Oh my god. Look, you're doing a great job. Can you handle things for yourself for a while? I need to think. All right, we'll do Glados. We'll do. Hey, hey, she's being nice to us for once, and maybe she's at the mercy of being a potato, and I could totally uh, kill her if I really wanted to. Uh, bup, bup, bup. So we got. So we know orange and blue do. White, on the other hand. Uh, oh, fuck me. Alrighty then. Screw that. There we go. Not too shabby. <laughs> Glados really does not like birds, huh? Uh, how do we? How do we go about getting across this? If we just drop down, it's certain death. I better look right here. That's uh, where we were before, so that's not good. Uh... Yeah. Really kind of hard to see. Oh, wait a minute. I figured it out. I, uh... God damn it. Alright, go, 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 go. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to the Enrichment Center. <coughs> oh God, give Jazzy no sounds so good. Participation mandatory for all employees. The quality of our test subjects has risen dramatically. Employee retention, however, has not. <coughs> oh God, yeah, you don't, you don't look you good, buddy. We're going to phase out human testing. There's still a few things left to wrap up, though. And the bean counters told me we literally could not afford to buy seven dollars worth of moon rocks, much less seventy million. Bought them anyway. Ground them up, mixed them into a gel. And guess what? Ground up moon rocks are pure poison. I am deathly ill. Still, it turns out they're a great portal conductor. So now, we're going to see if jumping in and out of these new portals can somehow leach the lunar poison out of a man's bloodstream. When life gives you lemons, make lemonade. <coughs> Let's all stay positive. Do some science. <laughs> I said I would really appreciate it if you could test as fast as possible. Carolyn, please bring me more pain pills. 
intri intriguing. Well, we have the white gel, and as you see earlier, you can place portals on these bad boys. And, uh... Let's see, there's somewhere, there's somewhere else we can... There's somewhere else we can totally place these things, and I just have to find them. Well, we got some thinking I have to do here. I have to find a spot where, uh... Actually, hold on. What? I can just do this. Yeah, there, there we go. The more, the more I cover this area with uh, this white stuff, don't, don't take that out of context, uh, the more I can, uh... I can do stuff with it. And just like that. I can, I can put I can put the blue portal back here and have the constant uh, flow to continue to go. I'm not sure if this is a big enough drop for this, but yeah, definitely not. Uh, let's see. But, but I can do that. where I came up from. What I can do, I can go up here. I can place that portal down. And then. God damn it, hold on. Oh, good thing I can just. Okay, well, before I try doing anything with the sword, hold on. Damn physics. There, there we go, there we go, okay. There we go, everything. Uh, I can place a portal right there. Place one right there, and then we can send us right up here. All right, I've been thinking. When life gives you lemons, don't make lemonade. Make life take the lemons back. Get mad! I don't want your damn lemons. What am I supposed to do with these? Demand to see life's manager. Make life rue the day it thought it could give me the fuck are you doing? Do you know who I am? I'm the man who's gonna burn 
burn your house down with the lemon. I'm going to get my engineers to invent a combustible lemon that burns your house down. <laughs> The point is, if we can store music on a compact disc, why can't we store a man's intelligence and personality on one? So I have the engineers figuring that out now. Brain mapping, artificial intelligence, we should have been working on it 30 years ago. And I will say this, and I'm going to say it on tape so everybody hears it a hundred times a day. If I die before you people can pour me into a computer, I want Carolyn to run this place. <laughs> Now she'll argue, she'll say she can't, she's modest like that, but you make her. <coughs> Hell, put her in my computer, I don't care. All right, test over. <coughs> you can head on back to your desk. Goodbye, sir. I don't know if this is the correct method of doing this, but uh... It's certainly a method. But yeah, we, we you see a lot of character development from GLaDOS in this chapter. Also, fuck also fuck me. Ruby. Uh Oh, almost fell off there. Um, I know, just, well, what was the point of that? Oh, well, I guess I'm, I guess I'm in here now. I think I realized what, what needs to be done. Use the zoom in feature. Doesn't, doesn't look like there's anything I can. Yeah, okay, there has to be a better uh, falling spot I can use. Okay, I think I got an idea. Gonna remove that portal. Let's see. Hold on, let me. Okay, so we do actually have to. Uh... I want to jump first so there's a bit of extra height. And then... Just like that. Put that one right there. Oh. Hey, look at exit. Excellent. Oh God, we're a bit we're a bit over, aren't we? Hey, everybody, then I hope you. So I think that's gonna be the end of today's episode. If you guys enjoy the content, please consider subscribing, as I really appreciate it. Uh, it'll also help the channel grow. Uh, while you're at it, maybe uh, add a bit of maybe like and comment the video as well as it will help the uh algorithm pushes uh pushes video as well as the videos on my channel w with that being said i'll see you guys in the next episode where we're gonna learn a bit more about glados is uh glados is past as well as try and make our way back up to where wheatley is until then see you guys in the next episode Bye bye.